Unlike other national parks, the Boston Harbor Islands are administered through the cooperation of federal, state, municipal, and nonprofit agencies. Boston Harbor Island Alliance is one of the local nonprofit partners. I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at Suffolk University's downtown Boston studio, and Tom Powers, president of the Alliance, joins Newsmakers to discuss this public-private partnership. Tom, welcome to the program. Thanks very much. What is it that uh, what is it that's so distinctive about Boston Harbor Islands that makes this collaboration? I would have to say first the islands themselves are just a fantastic resource for Boston, for all of Greater, Mass, uh, Greater Massachusetts. Um, they're a result of a cleanup that's just a stunning environmental success. The harbor was polluted, now it's clean. Um, the National Park Service doesn't own any of the islands, a little unusual for national parks. So they're administered by the State Department of Conservation and Recreation, City of Boston, my group, with an overlay of protection from the Park Service. Fortunately, that doesn't make any difference to the visitor. Right, right. The visitor sees a seamless experience. Well, 34 islands is yep. what makes up the park. Um, so how easily can the public visit one or all of these? Pretty easy. Public ferries leave uh, next to the Long Wharf Marriott in downtown Boston, right by Christopher Columbus Park. They leave every half hour during the high point in the summer, every hour or so during the shoulder seasons, about 15 minutes out to Spectacle, one of the hub islands, 22 minutes out to George's, which is a beautiful old historic fort. Um, pretty quick ride, pretty easy to get to. And George's and Spectacle, that, those are probably going to be the ones that people hear about the most. Correct. And yeah, what is right. it about those? Spectacle's the highest point on the, on the harbor. It's got a beautiful swimming beach, five miles of trails, great views. Uh, Sunday mornings, uh, free jazz, Sunday afternoons, free jazz on the porch of the visitor center, my group uh, sponsors. George's is a National Historic Landmark administered by State Department of Conservation and Recreation. New visitor center there, short movie about the history of the fort in the Civil War. Um, great place for history buffs. And, and we, we, we did say swimming. Swimming, so we did. Water is clean, a little chilly, but clean but and uh, lifeguarded, uh, great beach. Now, there are some smaller islands, too, a bit harder to get to, but tell me about some of those. A little harder to get to, and they open, they're open in the uh, summer high season, uh, June 21st, on uh, Bumpkin, Lovells, Grape, and Pedix. They are particularly camping islands, a little off the beaten track. Pedix, in particular, this year we've, uh, has an old fort that we've put a bunch of work into. And this year, they're going to have, Pedix will have yurt camping, which is tent platform camping with canvas sides. You don't have to bring a tent with you. And it has water and power. So unlike the other islands where you have to bring your own water yeah. and rough it, on uh, this one you can uh, take a little easier and uh, have water and power that, there. That makes a big difference for a lot It of does. It expands the range of people who might want to camp. And what is it uh, I've heard about Little Brewster? Little Brewster, Great Island, the last manned lighthouse, the farthest outpost uh, of the Harbor Islands, uh, welcoming people coming in uh, to the harbor. You can walk up, uh, only uh, manned lighthouse, that you can walk up to the top. It's a special trip out there, but just spectacular views and uh, quite amazing to see a lens that close for the, from a lighthouse. Which is not recommended. Not recommended to stare too close, <laughs> that's right. And 34 Islands again, so what, what kind of work does it take to preserve these? takes quite a bit, but I'm happy to say that uh, people with the words getting out, and so nine years ago there were 48,000 people that went. Last year there were 130,000 ferry riders. So really getting word around every year, we try and make them a little bit better, add something new, new programs, new facilities. Uh, clam bakes on Spectacle Island on Thursday nights for a great amenity. Right. Jesper White Summer Shack is uh, providing food. So people have a good time when they go out. It's a great resource. All right, get out to the Harbor Islands. Tom Powers, president of Boston Harbor Island Alliance. Thank you for joining us. And thank you for joining Thanks. us for Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Nathan O'Leary.